Hi, my name is Kai and I have a passion for leadership and business, which I share here on this channel with you. And even after all this time, 20 years in finance as a senior executive and today as a business consultant and commercial pilot, I learned something new every single day about living with purpose, about productivity and of course about self-growth and development. And today what I want to talk to you about is how to become more productive and procrastinate less. And we do that by not a list of 10 things you have to do. Yes, I could talk about this subject for hours, but we keep it very simple today. And all I will do is share with you two key concepts that grew very close to me. The reason I want to talk to you about it is number one, every time I procrastinate, I do it because I don't feel 100% behind the thing that I'm about to do. Example of that is tax returns. Here in the UK, we submit our tax returns on the 31st of January at the very latest. And every single year on the 30th of January, you see me sitting down filling out those forms. And it doesn't make me feel very good because it doesn't line up with that living with purpose that I talked to you about before. And also every time I procrastinate, I feel a little bit less like my authentic self. And maybe that's something that you can relate to as well. And the second reason I want to talk to you about it is because if I waste all my time, I don't have any time left for self-growth and development. And maybe you feel the same way. You want to grow. You want to grow professionally, develop. You want to leave obstacles behind. You want to unlock your potential. And if you are not productive, it's very hard to do. The other thing I will do is I'll share at the end of the video how you may get in touch with me and ask your personal questions or discuss your personal situation completely free. If you want to know how, watch until the end of the video. Let's talk about productivity first. And the one big concept for me is what is my one priority? That seems very underwhelming, doesn't it? But wait a moment. What is you are one priority. Don't give me a list of things. Don't tell me, oh, these are my three, four, five priorities in life. I don't want to hear about it. What is your one priority? That question changes everything. See, the other day I was on Clubhouse and somebody asked me, well, I want to build a culture with my team around my new company. And I asked him, what's the one thing that your company stands for? And at that particular point, the person couldn't answer that question. And so I said, well, it's very difficult to build a culture around it if you don't know the one thing that you want to be known for. Because if you can answer the question, if you know the one thing that you are known for, if you know the one thing, the one priority that you have in life, all these other decisions fall into place. An example of that is, let's say you have an education company and your one thing that you are known for is that your education is individual focused. And now there's a company coming up to you and say, we'll pay you a lot of money because we want you to organize a corporate event for us. And if you were honest, you have to say no. And that is what I mean by if you have one priority, the other decisions will fall into place. It'll make you more productive because you focus your energy. Listen, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do anything else. I'm saying you have to be very clear about your one priority because in that previous example about the company coming and asking for a corporate event, you may very well say it is something that you could outsource to another company or that you could have another department taken care of. It's just not your priority. And that's the one big thing that you need to be aware of when you talk about productivity. And by the way, if outsourcing is one of your interests, then again, get in touch. There's a link in the description, but I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video. The other thing we talk about is procrastination, and that goes hand in hand with productivity. But the one key concept for me is consider my future self. It works particularly well with small things. For example, I might see right now some dirty dishes over there in the kitchen. And I don't want to do that, of course, so I procrastinate, I leave it for later. Or I could think, what about my future self? If I do the dishes now and I wake up tomorrow morning, I wake up to a completely clean kitchen. It's a little reward, but it helps me overcome that procrastination. Or I want to go skiing and I want to go skiing in January. 
and I can't do that if I haven't submitted my tax return because it just takes away from the joy of it. So rather than waiting, I'll be kind to my future self. And I say, well, if I do my tax returns now, I actually later on can have that reward of having a great trip out. I don't have to think about tax returns. So if you like either of those two concepts, then please don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel and it means I can make more content in the future. As I said before, I want to make sure that we shine some light on your personal situation as well. So in the description box below and somewhere here on the screen, there is a link and it'll give you access to a free 15 minute call with myself. We can talk about productivity or your personal situation or anything you like. What's the catch? Well, of course, if we build a report, if we get on together, maybe you want to work with me in the future as well. But even if not, you will walk away with a solution for your personal life. I will walk away with maybe another idea for another video. Maybe a video like the one that I'll show you on the screen right now. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.